We are back now with our GMA cover story. More of that emotional conversation between Ashley Judd and Diane Sawyer about her mother Naomi's tragic death and joyful life. Ashley spoke to our Diane about their family's grief and the importance of seeking help. Here is more of their time together. In her sunlit porch, Ashley Judd has set up a kind of altar for her mother, some favorite things. Quietly, Larry Strickland, her stepfather, slips in. The sisters lovingly call him Pop. He had been traveling in Europe on that Saturday. Ashley made the call. And it was left to you to call Pop. Yes, yes. And, you know, I, I was in high functioning shock. I was in high functioning shock and we all grieve in our own way. You know, and I just said, Pop, I love you and I'm with you. I love you and I'm with you. And then had to obviously say the next piece. Um, but that's how we are as a family. We love each other and we are with each other. Over the years, she's written about the path she forged to transform trauma and depression in her life. Someone in recovery told her, don't quit before your miracle. There's miracle, but there's footwork. You know, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the footwork department. God is in the results department. And I know that there are things that I have done that have been helpful for me and that I'm in a different place than my mom was in. And so I really can only speak from my own experience. And now the search for another path through trauma and grief. You were saying that these books have been so helpful. Yes, they have been. What's the message? So grief therapy is by some nuns in Indiana. Remain open to the hurt. Grief will demand your attention. And then Tear Soup, I just read this in its entirety yesterday. Don't compare your grief with another's. Don't be too hard on yourself. I wish I could have, why didn't I, the if only. That is the bargaining stage of grief. And for me, it is my least favorite stage of grief because it is such a mind game. It is such a cluster. <laughs> and that's another part of the lie, you know, that if I had done something differently, there would have been a different outcome. And I go back to those three C's I mentioned. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and I can't cure it. What can, what could we possibly do, all of us loving you? Mm. There are over 200 12 step groups. And my hunch is that a lot of folks qualify for one and may not yet know it. And I would encourage people to explore a 12 step fellowship that may be right for them and put the focus on themselves and get the good help for themselves, which is often the most direct way to support and help a loved one. Definitely look at the National Alliance for Mental Illness webpage and really love the ones who are with you. Love the ones who are with you. Thank you. So clearly trying to help others through her pain right there. And if you're struggling with thoughts of suicide or worried about a friend or loved one, help is available. Call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 or text TALK to 741-741 or visit suicidepreventionlifeline.org for support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it was beautiful how sensitive Diane was yeah. with Ashley and how much she wanted to express for the family. And um, I've accepted an invitation to take part in a public memorial for Naomi Judd. It's going to be this Sunday at the Ryman of all places, a perfect place for it there in Nashville. It's going to air live on CMT Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And it's a chance to celebrate her life. There are going to be some tears. There's going to be laughter. And I'm sure there's going to be some great music. But it yeah. is a celebration for Naomi Judd this Sunday. Absolutely. Great. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.